Hi, I'm Mike Atkins with Affinia Label. Uh, today we are doing a sales training on the AF200 flat package applicator. This is a training that we will be recording so that uh, you can have it to train new salespeople as they come on board. And we'll also give you some uh, inf good information on these units and what they're used for and how they will benefit your product line. Um, we've got a couple machines set up here. We're gonna go into a PowerPoint uh, and then we will uh, do a quick product demo. All right, during this presentation, we are going to take a look at the AF200. We'll talk about what it is, uh, why we have it, uh, how much it costs, and some of the things that you can do with this product. We'll discuss configurations and workflow, different package types that will be compatible with the AF200 and different ways we can set up the tray system for those packages. We'll break into this and show a live demonstration of the product uh, with a couple different configurations. Also, we'll, at the end of this, do a recap and a question and answer session, uh, hopefully touching on the most frequently asked questions you might have on this product. So what is the AF200 and why is it a better way to apply labels? This is an applicator for flat packaging. Uh, flat packaging could be boxes or cartons. It can be bottles if they have a flat front. Uh, it could be flexible packaging as well. Why is this a better way? Well, it's going to apply labels more consistently than hand apply. With hand apply, you have the uh, possibility of human error. Any mistakes usually are going to mean rework, and any rework that has to be done is going to cost the, uh, cost the producer money. Automating the process is important because obviously labor is in short supply these days. Uh, anything that improves your processes will increase the profitability for your company. Also, a more professional application of labels is going to look better on the shelf at retail. Uh, consistency improves branding and it in increases the consumer confidence in your product. If you're in the store and looking at a product with a label that doesn't look good, uh, it's, it's a, a, a good possibility for your product to be passed over for something else uh, that's going to look more appealing. The AF200 has many uses. Uh, as you can see here, there's a variety of products that we were able to apply labels to with this applicator. There's uh, lids for jars. You'll see the top of these flat lid tops where we have round labels applied to the jars. Uh, full bags, that's an, an important distinction. Uh, if the, if the uh, flexible packaging is completely flat, uh, it'll be underneath the spec of what this machine can do. We do have another applicator uh, that will address that. We can apply labels to boxes, blister packs. This also has a two-label mode, and uh, where a two-label mode is useful is if you look at this olive oil container, uh, you could apply two labels if you have your labels converted that way, a larger label and a smaller label. Uh, you'll see that with some alcohol packaging where flat front bottles will have a series of labels on them. This is a unique feature for the AF200. It's an affordable applicator starting at $29.95 uh, in U.S. dollars and 2,500 euros overseas. Having this uh, as part of your product lineup will improve your search engine optimization. It allows your company to have better relevance in searches for labels uh, and labeling. Also, it'll att attract customers who may not yet know they need a label printer. They may just be looking for label applicators. Uh, but that may bring you new opportunities to sell uh, not just label printers, but also blank label stock. Let's take a look at the competitive landscape for this applicator. Uh, you will see here uh, the direct competitor to the Affinia AF200 would be the Primera AP550. These are both considered semi-automatic desktop label applicators. On the right side of the screen, you'll see an example of a label air applicator. That's a fully automatic applicator. Um, that would be kind of the high end of this uh, type of product. Um, with fully automatic uh, systems, you're looking at uh, units that not only require compressed air, uh, they're going to have to be integrated into a, um, uh, an assembly line. 
And so those are going to be a much, uh, much larger investment uh, and also uh, a much uh, higher end uh, type of applicator where what we're looking at is going to be the semi-automatic or desktop, which is really keyed towards uh, companies that are just starting to apply their own labels. Taking a look at how the AF200 competes with the Primera AP550, uh, you'll see here that uh, one of the things that is going to differentiate the AF200 is that it is a hands-free unit, meaning uh, we can apply the label by simply pressing the start button on the front of the unit or by pressing a foot pedal. Uh, with the AP550, that unit requires the user to push down on the end of that applicator, which forces it down onto the package and then applies the label. So it is more of a manual process. Uh, why that's important is if you have flexible packaging, that can uh, possibly cause the flexible package to uh, compress and that can affect how that label is applied and may not uh, may not provide you a smooth application of the label uh, whereas this on the AF200 being completely automatic uh, you'll get much more consistent results we think. The finish of the AF200 is stainless steel uh, or chromium nickel uh, that's uh, an important distinction for Companies that deal with food products, it's going to be more in line with what they expect for equipment in their operation. Uh, the a AP550 is a powder-coated material and finish, which uh, uh, isn't as commonly found in food applications, but uh, also is probably not quite as high-end looking. There is a ultrasonic trainable sensor on the F200. That is the sensor that detects the label. Uh, the Primera unit has an optical sensor. So what the advantage of, uh, or what advantage you would find in an ultrasonic sensor that's trainable is that allows you to uh, change out the liner of the label and gives you more flexibility. Um, one area where that's going to really be noticeable is if you have clear labels. In some cases, you'll have clear labels that are on clear liners. An optical sensor will not be able to see that, where an ultrasonic sensor is using sound to detect that label, and it can. Um, the other reason this is important is right now we are experiencing in the industry a shortage of label liner. Uh, there's a lot of shakeup in that part of the label industry, and so you're starting to see some of the traditional craft and calendared liners switch over to PET liners. And by having a unit that is flexible and can be trained uh, no matter what that liner is, um, you're going to have much more consistent results and avoid potential issues when those liner materials change. The AF200 will accept a wider label up to 120 millimeter where the Premier is limited to 115 millimeter. You have a customizable tray option, and we'll show that in the demo, where we can simply either place the product right on the tray uh, for applying labels, or we can 3D print uh, to the customer's specification a special holder uh, that is going to be custom fit to their packaging. Uh, with the Primera, you are limited to just the tray that comes with it. We mentioned in a previous slide that this has two label capability, so that gives you some more flexibility to the uh, type of look that you want for your packaging. Uh, the Primera can only apply one label at a time. The AF200 will be slightly more expensive, as you can see on the screen, uh, in comparison to the Primera, uh, but we do feel it has uh, different features that set it apart and will make it a, a better option in the field. There is a larger footprint to the Affinia. Uh, the Primera will take up a little less space on the desk. But they are very close in size. So let's talk about workflow. Loading the labels is simple. You'll see a label path diagram labeled clearly on the side of the unit. Uh, it's a very simple paper path. Uh, the labels come through the top. There is a, a static brush there to reduce any 
potential static issues with the liner and with the labels. It threads over uh, and through a sensor around a peel bar and then the liner is fed back and ejected out the back of the unit uh, so that it's not in the way of the operator. You'll also see an image of the sensor. When we go to the demo here, we'll show you how that sensor is set up. It's very simple. Um, also, we have training videos on our website and we'll refer to them at the end of this video so you can have those links. So here we'll talk about trade configurations. You can go with just the standard guides that are on the tray if you are using a uh, container that is a box, like you see in the center image here, that would not need any special fixture. Uh, if you were applying round labels to jar lids or to something that is a custom shape, like this honey jar, uh, that's where we would want to have a 3D printed fixture to hold that in place to ensure consistency. Ordering custom trays is simple. They can be ordered directly from us. The list price is set at $500. Uh, it can be ordered through the reseller. Uh, I've got a couple examples of the types of containers that you might have a custom tray built for. The container must be sent to us when this custom tray is ordered. Uh, even if it's a simple container, like you see in the center here where we could work off of dimensions potentially, we want to be able to test it to make sure that the product uh, is not too tight of a fit, that it'll load and unload easily so that uh, it's not hindering the, uh, the throughput for the operator. Custom trays will have about a two to three week turnaround from the time of ordering before uh, the customer will receive the finished product. So here you can see uh, the you know, on the left, you can see where the guides are and how they hold the product in place. Those are completely configurable. When we do the demo, we'll show you how those are configured. It's very simple. Uh, in the middle, you'll see an example of the 3D printed fixture that's holding the jar in place for application. On the right, you'll see that there are arrows, and we'll show this in the demo as well. The arrows are showing you where the label will be applied. Uh, that, along with some knobs on the side of the machine, are how we configure it for uh, label placement. The height is very simply set. Uh, we would set the product on the tray, and there is an adjustment here for the height where we can lift the applicator head back, and it will slide up, and then you have several different settings uh, to, to allow you to accommodate a variety of package heights. Uh, there is also a fine adjustment screw on the back, so in between these settings you have other uh, possibilities for fine-tuning this uh, to make sure that you get consistent application of the labels to the product. Once the labels are loaded, the sensor is calibrated, and the tray is configured, then it's a simple process of just setting the product on the tray or in the fixture, and then either hitting the start button or pressing a foot pedal. At this point, we will show you a live demonstration of the product. Okay, we've got a couple of AF200 setup here in a couple different configurations, and we'll take you through how that setup is done and uh, how the operation occurs on these. So we have a unit here that is set up for boxes and applying. We've got some three by four labels loaded in. Um, we'll take you through how that label material is loaded into the machine. So in the back here we have a container or a holder for the label roll. Uh, core's size can be two inches or three inches on this. There are some magnetic holders that are uh, on here to be able to position the label stock properly. There is a scale on the top here also to allow the operator to more easily center the labels uh, in the applicator. And ideally we want this label centered in the applicator. The loading is going to come down through here, through the static bar. There are two guides here that are adjustable. Once the labels are loaded, they can be moved in uh, to prevent any shifting of the labels left or right. 
The labels then are going to pass through the sensor. We'll show you how that's calibrated. And then they come down underneath a rubber or a foam pad across the peel bar. And there is a catch release here that pops down. So we feed that through. As that liner comes back, and we will peel off a few labels to make sure that we have enough material to feed through. As we feed that back, it's going to come back and be brought to the back of the unit. And this is a nice feature because this keeps that liner from interfering with the labels that you're applying up front. So that's how the label stock is loaded. We do have a video of that process on affinialabel.com. If you go to the support page for the AF200. So if you just go to the product page, you'll see a product support button. If you click on that, you'll see videos for loading the labels, also for training the sensor, uh, which also is quite simple. Um, for training the sensor, the process is to put the gap underneath where the sensor is. And you'll see this LED will usually react to it. Once we have the gap or just the liner material without the label there, we press and hold the teach button. You press and hold that until this T LED lights up. Once that lights up, it's going to go through and keep taking readings of that liner. And you'll see this start to, uh, you'll see these lights go all the way up to the top. Once they go up to the top and the T stops flashing, we know it has its reading for the gap. Now we can just move the label so that it's under the sensor. And now we just simply press teach and now it's configured. So now it can tell the difference between the liner and the label. The other thing that we're going to configure on here is on the front panel. There are two modes. We mentioned the two label mode this would be an example of two label mode where we're applying an olive oil label and a secondary label afterwards. If you had your label stock configured where it is alternating between this label and this label, we can set this up to apply two different labels to the same product. The label mode is set from the front panel here. So if I press and hold the M button, I now have a select mode where I can select between one label or two label application. Today we're just doing one label. If I press this again, now I have a setting for offset. This setting is not going to matter for this particular label. If it's over 64 millimeters, which this is, this is a three inch wide label, I just set it to 064. However, if you want, uh, if you have a smaller label, and you want to know what to set this to, uh, you can just simply scan this um, QR code that's right on the front of the machine. That'll take you to our online uh, calculator. And that calculator will just ask you for the dimensions of your package, and it will give you the value to enter here. In this case, 064 is going to work fine. And now we've completed the setup and we just need to configure the tray. So configuring the tray is quite simple. You have a backstop that's configurable, and then you have left and right holders. And this will require a little bit of trial and error. The, you'll want to get this set up fairly center, and we'll show you how to configure where the label will start and where the label will stop. But once you have it on there, you may need, you may find you need to adjust this around, but it does have a lot of flexibility to how you can align that package. So even if this isn't a perfect square edge, perfect parallel, um, you'll be able to account for that and get some consistency. So very simple to get this lined up. The next configuration will be for the label starting and stopping. So you'll see there are arrows indicated here, and this is going to tell us where the label will end. For where the label will start, we have this knob, which 
there are two knobs on the side that will control the travel of this tray. The knob on the right side of the unit as I'm facing the control panel, that's going to control where the lab first label applies. And in this case, we're only doing one label, one label application on this. If I'm applying two labels, the second position will be this knob over here. To adjust this, we'll do a quick test. We can see where this label is being applied. If I want to move this label forward, then I can simply loosen this knob and slide it forward. So moving this knob back started the position of this label farther back on the package. The final adjustment for this would be the, the uh, applicator head height. And we have several different settings here for that. It's just simply a matter of rocking this back and then we can lift it up into different positions to accommodate different heights. The idea here is that we want the foam roller to be applying some pressure to the top of the package. So we'll use the set of notches that achieve that, that give us uh, not too much downward pressure, but making some contact so that this roller is getting compressed. You also have on the back of the unit a fine adjustment knob and that will push into, as you tighten that, that'll push into the back of this and lever this up a little bit. So if you have to do a fine adjustment, that's done back here. So now that you've set the tray, you've installed the labels, trained the sensor, and set the height of the applicator head, um, operation is just as simple as placing the container on there and pressing the button or pressing the foot switch. And I'll apply a few labels here to give you an idea, it's very consistent. Um, all the labels are being applied pretty much in the same spot. There is going to be a variance of a couple of millimeters there, um, but overall it's applying them all without bubbles. It's applying them right in the same area very, uh, very consistently. So over here we have a unit that's been configured for applying round labels to the top of the lid. Uh, there are a couple things I want to show you uh, on this particular label. So what we have here is a circle. This is a uh, roughly three inch circle. Um, the material you'll see has a black mark in between the labels. Uh, and so some people will ask about that. Uh, again, because this is an ultrasonic sensor, it doesn't see that black mark. So you'll see with uh, an optical sensor, if we used an optical sensor in here, you could see where there would be the opportunity for that sensor to be confused by the black mark that is in between the labels. But that black mark is required by most label printers for printing circles. Uh, so that's a nice feature. The other thing that's unique about the labels I have loaded here is they're perforated in between the label. Um, and so uh, it's a point of caution. I am able to use these perforated labels uh, in this particular configuration and they're not tearing, um, but it is something that it, depending on how that perforation is set up and how strong it is, uh, you would want to make sure that you're testing that before somebody purchased a large number of labels with a perforation. Ideally for applicators, I don't want to use perforated labels. There's really no need for the perforation and it's extra cost. So here you'll see we have um, a container that we're going to apply the label to the lid. We have a 3D uh, tray that has been made um, using the specifications of this container. And so it's just a recessed area where we can set this. The rest of the setup is exactly as I've shown, you on, shown to you on this unit here. Uh, once the container is in there, we can again to apply the label. That's it. And to recap, the AF200 is a versatile label applicator that works with a variety of packages. It's an easy add-on sale for any reseller. When selling a printer, just simply ask people how they're applying their labels. 
Video tutorials are on our website at affinialabel.com. Go to the AF200 product page, press the product support button, and you'll see videos on loading the label stock, configuring the sensor, and configuring the tray as we've shown you here. This product will improve your search engine optimization and will bring more customers to your door that you can sell label printers, ink, and label supplies to. And now some questions. To help me with frequently asked questions about the AF200, I brought in Nathan Daniel. He's our Canadian sales manager who originally was with Affinia in our UK office. Nathan? Hey Mike, here are a few questions that have come in from both customers and resellers since we launched the AF200 applicator. Can you use black marked labels with the matrix left on with this applicator? Good question. Yes, you can use a black mark to register your labels. Uh, we showed a little bit of that with the round labels that we have here. Uh, however, no, you cannot have the matrix left on because it's an ultrasonic sensor. It won't be able to tell the difference in thickness because there is no difference in thickness when the matrix is, uh, between the matrix and the actual label both being on that liner. Does this unit have a built-in counter? The unit does have a built-in counter. You'll see that displayed on the front. And uh, that's a useful tool um, for knowing how many containers you've applied labels to when filling containers or filling cartons. Are there any incentive packages for ordering a printer-applicator combo? That's a good idea to have incentive packages for a printer and applicator combo. However, it's not something that we will be running all the time, uh, but it is something that I think we will want to do uh, coming out of trade shows uh, might be a good opportunity for us to do a special promotion for that trade show when bundling an applicator with a printer. Uh, maybe something that uh, dealers can think about as well. Um, we'll also have demo pricing available for this uh, so that dealers can have one of these units in their showroom along with the printers from Affinia. Where can I find the full specifications for the AF200? The full specifications are on the product page for the AF200. If you click on the specifications drop down, you'll see the smallest and largest container and also the range of the labels uh, that you can use in the AF200 applicator. Thanks for watching this training video on the AF200. If you have any specific questions, be sure to get in touch with your Affinia sales rep. Thanks.